I actually don't. To... I don't even know who this is anymore. I, I can't tell. Is this Louis Jesus or is it uh, Bonk it, Weed? Weedle? Is that? I that's. I think that's Bonk Eye, right? It would have to I, I don't know. Is it? It doesn't have the tag Bonk Eye, so I'm, I'm in the dark. Going to <laughs> <laughs> Could we just be playing with uh, Okay, no, no, no. Lack Detector says it's Bonkai. We're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if some, like, just random Wi Fi. Yeah, no, I was like, there's no way. Fox. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I have to. I have to upload the previous match. Yes, please do. I will be here watching this. Uh, Fox versus Belmont. So I guess uh, Bonkai is already on board the I'm not going to play the dealing with your zoning nonsense. I'm just going to run up to you, circumvent it. Although he's still eating a lot of projectiles right now. So that's not quite working out. Ooh, that axe was probably a missing bit. Almost certainly. Nice. Nair was a good call there. Doesn't get anything off of it. That's all right. Good parry. He doesn't have the punish on that one, but he went for the chase. He was ready for it. Oh, yeah. He didn't have a conversion from that range. Like, you get a lot of time with holy water, even if your opponent is uh, SDIing out of it, but... He was so far back, and I think he was in the middle of the jump back when he did that. Why the double illusion? What? Was it just like a you'll never see this mix coming thing? It was interesting. That is something that, like, Wolf and Fox benefit from a lot, just being able to flash Reflector every now and then, return some damage back in Belmont's way, and it's very, like, not committal relative to just reacting to a projectile, even if they don't get the hit. Harry, get in Belmont's face, yes. Matchup knowledge. Oh, the jab check was really good. That was not a bad option at all. Very, very committal, but uh, if he had started hitting him, like catching a jump, he would have rapid jabbed him and then sent him further off stage and he could have gone for a proper edge guard when he had less options. This is some intelligent play. Back air the cross. But that that did keep him uh, in place a little bit and hit stop, but worked out. Oh no, he was looking for Rekka. Oh no, he had like an up smash punish there. That was a big punish. One. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I see. Yeah, we're seeing. Well, all right. Oh, I see. We have a two stock for yes. Slink, and it's funny because. Uh, Slink was playing this really good, but Bankai is definitely showing some matchup knowledge here. There was a couple of, uh, like, particular moments that stuck out to me. One of which was that he parried the dive kick and then immediately went for the chase up. So he knows about that. And what was really smart, what I thought was particularly intelligent, is he had uh, Slink off stage, close to the ledge. And rather than running off for going for an edge guard or going for, like, a ledge trap, he held jab. So that way, if uh, mm -hmm. he had tried to double jump back onto the stage, he would have caught him into Rapid Jab and set him up for a better edge guard. I think was really smart. Man, that was a good kill. Unfortunately, it was the only kill he was going to make. Yeah. A Slink's still making this work, even though uh, Bankai's evidently got some experience with this. Is he sick in Fox? Let's see. I think. Yeah. I mean, I feel- No, he's going ZSS, alright. Three, two, one. Go! Well, welcome back. Oh? Oh? Huh? Oh. Welcome Hello. back. I, I, I see yes, Discord I... banished you for a moment. Yep, I uh, fell into the Shadow Room, but I climbed back out. That's a- that's that's no easy feat. Quite impressive. Anyway, oh, uh, you. <laughs> you know, Bankai already taken uh, triple da triple digit damage. Oh my lord! Trying to swat him out like a fly out of the air. Slink. Think he'll make really change strongly... for a stock? Oh god! Only take... Ooh, he had the trap okay. too. Oh, and my man died no. at twenty. He died at twenty. Twenty. No. You see that? He died at twenty. Did you see that? UBL? So he died at twenty. Can you believe it?
He put him. Yo, he, he was like, I'm going to deal 100 damage. I'm in a really good position. I've only taken 20 damage. Oh, wait, look, I'm dead. What was yeah. it near flip kick? Yes. Yeah, flip kick spike. Uh, oh, yeah. It was grab yeah. flip kick. Um, what was that? Back throw? Yeah. Okay, the back throw flip kick should never work. He was getting lazy. That's his fault. <laughs> Still, my man's side at 20. Yeah. Yeah. It's I okay. Mean, yeah. It's back even again. All right. Super even. With any luck, we'll see here. two more minutes of quality zoning and then another gimp. All right, take it away, guys. <laughs> I think that kind of be fun to work. All right. So, hello, welcome. Uh, how would I say your name? I'm so sorry. Ubel? Ubel is fine. You don't need to pronounce all the L's. Just, just one L. Ubel. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet I'm tired. you. I don't blame you. It's uh. 10.30, so actually uh, relatively early compared to like in-person oh, yeah, Zeno, we'd be out there to 1 a.m., but... Oh, it's not the time, sorry. it's just the workload, but that's fine. Oh, I got you. These players, these players are working, they're, they're working it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. they're putting in the... Oh no, he misconfirmed that. That's not always true. Also the single ZSS jab. Is Bonk Guy like... Okay, the way he stood still there for a second was very, uh, really energy. Like, I have to deal with this. This Belmont who's just tossed with it. Oh, that should be good. ZSS is limber enough to the point where if she can just position herself in the right spot, like we saw Bankai do there, like get in, get right into flip kick footstool range, then she'll never have to worry about dying from any of these projectiles or worrying about the the whip at all because she can move around just perfectly fine so mm. well it's gonna be a bit of a it's gonna test his tenacity but Bankai should always have the upper hand in this matchup i feel like yeah um belmont's definitely have like obviously when you're on the business end of a cross or an axe then it doesn't feel like you've got a whole lot you can do but there's a ton of end lag on these moves uh, enough that if you flip kick through and flip kicking in neutral zss is not like some uncommon thing um and he just happens to get there at the right time that's a big punish scenario for him we're gonna use all these flip kicks hey, it's oh why not belmont all of belmont's tools while well, are uh, all of his projectiles rather are one there's one track in in all of their paths like yes you can kind of send the cross at different directions that was kind of cool Mm -hmm. That uh, was cool. You can adjust their angles, but all of their projectiles do one thing, and they cover one option super well, as in the Castlevania series. Mm -hmm. But flip kick is just such a like when you since it's so as we see in the chat non-linear of a tool, it's able to circumvent linear tools arguably better than any other move in the game. Mm -hmm. Like it's Definitely. it's it's one of those moves that almost defines matchups. He shouldn't have gotten buried there. I'm sorry. Uh, well he's living. I don't know for how long. Oh, he just got past the nair. Um, but yes, absolutely. It's not just that. It's that. Uh, ZSS already with her movement, and she's slender enough that the hitboxes have maybe not the easiest time hitting her. She is tall, but she's not particularly wide. So what can happen is that Belmonts just can't occupy all the airspace at once. And they are limited in how you can uh, set them out. So what'll happen is you'll have situations where, okay, as the Belmont player, uh, ZSS can jump in here. I have to be cautious about that. I have to be thoughtful of my tools about that um, because that's always on the table. But then flip kick is always on the table also at the same ranges where those jumps would be true. And then some where they aren't. So you have have to constantly be mindful of that and trying to look for punishes and a quick repositioning but also just the straight approach of hey i have a really good jump over your projectile because my jump is fast and my jump is fairly low and i'm very quick in the air so it's like it can look bad if the belmont's doing well but the problem is is that it's a lot of work for the belmont to do well like one mistake can open them up to getting carried across the stage edge guarded like we saw so i'm sure it's a tension mass up on both sides because zss doesn't want to catch along a lot of extra damage either you just can't take that much of it yeah it's kind of the big the, if there's one thing that swings for belmont in this matchup it's the fact that he's uh, he's a lot thicker 
than ZSS is, and he's <laughs> able to take a lot more punishment. The problem lies in how do you how do you get damage up to some point. So I would like to see Slink. I don't know if he's changing character here. I would not recommend Min Min in the same way that I wouldn't that uh, Belmont arguably does better than Min Min in this matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, but I kind uh, of feel like. Maybe, Min maybe. Min is a similar level of linearity, if not more so. And while she has more effective area, perhaps, than Belmont does, I think it's more predictable or more easily countered, rather. Um, in the sense that things like, uh, let's say, jump back uh, forward air with Min Min is just, oh, air dodger flip kick. And that's like a very reliable answer because what's Min Min going to do? And Min Min only really has the Nair for close range boxing in the air. So Belmont has a little bit of an edge in that, but I think they both suffer from similar problems of like, how do I make this tool set that has gaps she can jump through work where she won't be getting on my ass whenever I'm uh, leaving pieces open in my gameplay? Yeah, I, I I completely agree. I do like the stage counter pick here in Town and City, uh, giving it a lot more uh, breadth of movement. Yeah, no, 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 Bankai, you don't get that once per once per set if that. Yep. You know, don't try and cheat people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got it. Sometimes you just gotta hit people with the gimmicks, right? Well, that one uh, I was actually told earlier by I believe Helper uh, that that was a DI check. Uh, it is, good yes. conversion on that over there. Yes. Yeah, if you DI See, all of ZSS, oh, yeah. if if you DI all of ZSS, ZSS's throws correctly, mm -hmm. then she doesn't get anything true. Off of that. Gotcha. Good to know. Especially because getting dunked by flip kick at early percents is like that's mental damage, honestly. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. TP for the strike kill off stage. He's getting buried so much. It's like these these items that he's throwing out, like while they're normally great in positions to cover space, uh, ZSS gets to you so fast whenever she wants to. Yes. Good, uh, good SDI, by the way. Um, she gets to you so fast whenever she really chooses to, to the point where it's more beneficial to try and cover flip kick space or mid air space with a less committal whip than a than anything like a holy water or an axe. I don't think you should sort of completely give up using cross just because of its boomerang factor, but mm -hmm. some of these like some of these axes and some of these uh, holy waters, like they're just they're not beneficial. Yeah. That was oh. good. Nice conversion off that. And see, another thing that's I think a really big deal about this, which is easy to forget because of Zia's flip kick, she has a really tall jump. And so uh, Belmont is pretty like designed around having the opponent play close to the ground because he has cross and he has axe to try to keep you out from the air. But if ZSS can go over cross and axe won't reach at an angle where it can snipe her, then she can sort of just reset by double jumping provided she has the stage position. And the most she can do is get chased down by like forward air or back air. And even then that's hard to grab because then she can flip kick, then she can fast fall air dodge, then she can do all these different options. Oh, nice combo with Axe. Hey, good catch. Alright, well, you know, with all of this posturing, it is, thanks to the Fox game, it is still 2-1 in, uh, in Slink's favor. Mm -hmm. So, it's up to Bankai to try and figure out uh, something a little bit more consistent than just basic counterplay for Richter, because while, well, yes, we can talk about, like, in theory matchup all day long, and oh, in yeah. theory, this matchup is like cool. seven three, but <laughs> maybe not that. Maybe not that bad. But are you telling me we're not watching TAS gameplay right now? That this isn't all a hundred percent optimized one hundred percent of the time on Wi-Fi? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Uh, Truer it's... words. <laughs> It's rough. It's rough out there, and playing a playing a neutral based character is often a whole lot harder on uh, with the native with the native input the lag as well as the Wi-Fi input lag. However, ZSS does have the tools to just not have to worry 
about certain high pressure or high execution strings. Like she doesn't need to go for like these nair into like short hop nair into full hop nair into shenanigans. Like she doesn't need to do that. Okay, never mind. Yeah. We're just gonna really, really reel it back. And it's like, what if I went Palutena? <laughs> <laughs> now, see, the funny thing is, is that if Slink manages to take the lead on this, I'm not entirely sure I approve of the choice over ZSS. Um, the thing is, is that Palu playing from like behind and in disadvantage isn't fantastic. Like, she's really good if she gets into your boxing space and then makes you, like, guess between, oh man, is she gonna dash, attack, dash, grab me, forward, air me, backwards, air me. And then, um, you know, she's got good frame data on that. But as far as getting in, like, she doesn't have flip kick. She has pretty good, like, air mobility, air speed, air acceleration. Um, her jump is good. But things like her nair and her bear and her forward air, I feel like don't have that little bit of extra room that ZSS has, and I think that might be really important, especially if um, if things like that happen, where suddenly he's a stock down, and now he yeah. has to worry about getting in. Yeah, if he keeps if he keeps going with these like pretty uh, telegraph to jump ins, like that's that's only gonna give Belmonts like all the re all of the all the information they need to to cover that and more with the plethora of uh, projectiles as well as any of this whip shenanigans uh, i don't i do i do <laughs> i do respect the palutena pick quite a bit though because palutena what makes palutena such a amazing like that that invalidating style of top tier for like mid and low tiers uh, or even some high tiers is a uh, she counter zones incredibly well. Like she never has to worry about her projectiles clashing or any of her moves getting really beaten out because some of them are flat and invincible. Mm -hmm. And things like auto reticle come out super fast and explosive flame you can't interact with at all. Nice, gets a little bit of extra damage before that throw goes through. I think the holy water saved him a little bit. It reduced the knockback on the throw. You might be right. I'm not sure. Because I th I feel like the Holy Water hit before the throw released. I don't think he was already flying, but I could be wrong about that. Um, and while I, I do agree about the counter zoning, but I think the thing about that is that Palutena kind of benefits from like an immediacy, like a reward for counter zoning in the moment. And a lot of the times with Belmont, that's not quite the case. Like if you say correctly parry across, uh, you're not necessarily guaranteed a punish. You're guaranteed a lot of space, and you might put Richter in a bad spot, but you're not necessarily given a punish. You're given a mix in your favor at best sometimes. Um, oh. Uh... He was he was holding that explosive flame button and tried to throw it out as he was falling so, multiple see, times. Counter, uh, counter zoning is all well and good, but this is what we call counter winning. Okay, throw out one, two. I mean, I'm glad he wrapped the explosive flames at some point. I don't think that was the best time to do it, but uh... it, I, I do want to point out though that throughout this set, he'd been going for holy water up smashes as opposed to anything else, which is just kind of like it's a small adjustment. It's nothing that you really need to write home about, but it's it's a fail safe kind of adjustment mm -hmm. that is so crucial, not only in a higher input lag environment, but just in the proper counterplay environment. You're not trying to, you're trying to hold SDI up and in or away and mash jump so you can get out of there as soon as possible. And mm -hmm. that's just easy counterplay. <laughs> easy <laughs> counterplay that still gets the kill. Yes. So good stuff. Absolutely.